What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a pretty awesome video. Now first, let me say this, I cannot take full credit for this. I gotta give a big shout out to Rob over on Twitch for kind of finding this strategy out. So I had to test it because it's been absolutely insane. So we have been facing a crisis of Limitless Steel. Okay, the Limitless Steel guys, if you don't know, is the, the summoning item that you get from fighting Grigor which is located way over here and once you get those you get these shards which you can do to fight Duriel. now we all know we've done the math if you guys have seen my previous videos we have talked about this in great depth big shout out to everybody who commented on that for a good discussion and even though that the dev said during blizzcon that they are going to address some of the issues here with uh the the steel and how we can get more I'm going to give you a strategy to do to get even more steel every other hour when the hell ties are up until they give us a fix. Okay. So again, I had to test this big shout out to Rob. So I don't, I don't want to take full credit for this big shout out to Rob. It's been absolutely insane. The barbarian is just nuts anyway. I mean, we're already dumping, but anyway, let's get into the strategy. So how does the strategy work? Well, I'm going to show you guys as soon as I can rack up the remainder 40 i'm going to show you exactly how this guys uh, how this works however you are going to need you are required to have at least one other character now i do know that you know with that it, it does kind of suck because you you're going to need a second character and not a lot of people have multiple characters that they can play or are playing they're mainly just playing the one character and that's okay you just really have to be able to have a second character for the strategy to work Okay, now we talked about how often that you can kind of do the Durial runs per hour. So let me just kind of talk about what those numbers are and kind of how it works. So right now, every other hour, you can roughly do one Grigor run because you can only acquire six living steels every other hour when the Helltide spawn because you only get two chests. On the offhand that you're in a, a zone like this one over here, there's a zone over here that spawns three. And then depending on the top of the hour, you could be able to get more. But typically you're only gonna be able to get two, which is only six steals. And then you're forced to wait. And that's only one Grigor run. So effectively you're getting one Dario run every four hours, which isn't very good. Now what this strategy does is at the bare minimum, you're gonna be able to get 12 living steals at a minimum every other hour, which is actually two Gragor fights, which is one Dario fight every two hours, which is actually insane uh, considering the numbers. So I'm almost at 600. I'm going to get one more and then I'm going to tell my team I'm going to go do this. Just so they're aware. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we got to go all the way up here. Let's go up here and try to get uh, go to the chest, and I'm going to show you guys how this works. All right. It has been foolproof checked. We tested it earlier. Now, unless from a couple hours ago it was actually nerfed uh, or by the devs, which I highly doubt because they weren't doing anything like that this season, this should still work perfectly fine. So we got all of our shards here. We're going to pop this thing open. Let's kill all these guys real quick. Barbet 82 just absolutely slapping. It's... Real quick side note, Barbarian is literally the best class in the game. And then it's Ball Sorceress. Okay? Ball Sorceress. All right, so the chest actually moved. So it's right down here. So let's roll. I was reading the mystery chest. I apologize, guys. I read the mystery chest. Wrong area. Wrong area. I'm so used to, to doing the mystery chest in here. I forgot that the uh, the map shows a different color for the, uh, the Living Steel chest. Okay. Let's swing over here and show you guys how this is done. This is absolutely insane, and this works very, 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 very well if you're a solo player. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop our 300 steel, okay? Right? We're going to pop the steel. We're going to get our three living steels from it. This is great, right? We need it. Now, the, the, the trick is, is now we can't open this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the game. And we should keep all 324 of our cinders when we log back in with another character. Once we do that, the chest should be there for our second character, and then you just open it again. And you can do this as many times as you can with 
any amount of characters that you have in the season. Because you should load in right next to the chest again within the hell tide because that's where you logged out. Now, if you do have any issues with this, like this, I'm loading into town. So now we are going to just teleport down here to the uh, down to the hell tide section and just go back in and go to the chest, and it should be right there for us to open. Okay, this is very very foolproof. You guys shouldn't have any issues with this. Once we get in here, you can see I have all 324 of my cinders. Boom, that's awesome. Right? Like, hey, I opened up both the chests. I can't open any more chests with my barbarian. Oh, but guess what? Now I can open up a chest with my necromancer. And then I can also open up a chest with my sorceress. So if you guys are very efficient at farming in Helltides, it roughly takes you about 15 minutes, maybe 18 minutes at the most if you're farming efficiently to get at least 600 cinders. It's very, very easy. I, even through this little this little playthrough, I didn't start at the top of the hour, but um, because we were doing Durado runs, and I finally got my Shaco. But see, the chest is here, right where I was at before. We're gonna open up the chest again. Oh, I'm on my Sork actually. Hashtag Ball Lightning, second best build in the game. So we're gonna open up the chest again, right? Boom. Chest is open again. We get more steel. And again, just like everything else, you're going to have an opportunity to get five steel out of that. So the more, or at least at least, as long as you're having at least one other character, at a minimum in any given Helltide, you can open up four chests. Because the way that the, the chests move, you can only open two per Helltide. So that way, with two characters, you're getting 12 steels, which is one... Or excuse me, two uh, Gragor runs, which is effectively one Durio run because of how easy it is to actually get your uh, your Varshan eggs. It's very, very easy. So again, all we're going to... Well, hold on. Let's not die. So all we're going to do is we're just going to leave the game again. And if I wanted to, I could farm up with my ball lightning build and we could just go collect 600 more. And then I could open up the second chest that's actually in this Helltide. And then go open up the other one again with my Barbarian. So this is a foolproof strategy, guys. This is awesome. Again, I want to give a big shout out to Rob for this because we were he was doing a big community event today. And we were trying to participate in that. And it was awesome. And as you guys can see, I spawned right back where the chest would be on my Barbarian. So if you're doing this with multiple characters, you just spawn right back in the Helltide. And you are good to go. And you just start farming. It is super cool. There goes my Shaco. I just want to showcase it real quick. Very proud. We we fought. It was our 66th, 66th Durial fight. And yeah, absolutely insane, guys. So go do this. If you want more Living Steals, do this. Okay, if you're a solo player, this is great. If you're playing in a group or a community like mine down in the Discord or over on Twitch or YouTube, then you're going to get even more Durial runs. This is the best way to maximize all of your living steel per hour until they give us a fix okay now the devs did say i want to highlight this at blizzcon they did say that they were changing it and they were going to give us a chance and opportunity to get more so right now this is the best way to do it so make sure you guys go do that man like the video comment down below and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace